Hello everybody, I'm Ripan here from Language Academy and in this video we are going to cover the the orders from our prediction file because we have seen that sometimes you get those reorders, um, not all of them, but yes, some reorders from that file do get repeated in the exam. So we thought to cover all those. Also, that's one reason. The other reason is um, I would uh, recommend or advise all of you that when you're watching this video, don't just focus on cramming the answers try to understand the concept of solving the orders if you'll have this perspective in your mind that this video by through this video by the end of this video your target is to understand how can i approach the question of reorders that will be more beneficial to you because as i said definitely not all but there is only a chance that you may get out of for example, you're getting two or three reorders in the exam. So one of them can be from these questions, but still the remaining two you will have to solve by your own understanding. So if you understand this concept, this way, this method, this approach of solving that can help you to get marks in those two other questions as well. So let's start with the questions. And here is the first one. So, um, what am I going to do? Okay. So here is our first question, and I am going to take a marker to highlight all the things that can serve as hints. So the first sentence says the Newness Railroad was closed in 1932 after 25 years of shipping oil oil shale. Then in this sentence, so there are a few concepts that we are going to apply in these questions. The first one is um, when you have the full name that that sentence comes first, when we have a part of that name that comes second. So this rule is being applied in the first one. So they say the newness railroad, if we see N is capital, that means it's a name. So the newness railroad, maybe the name of some railroad, which was closed in 1932, we have an year given. After 25 years of shipping oil shale, so um, there's nothing as a reference in this sentence, so it seems to be a complete sentence and it is one. Then they say the rails were pulled, so the rails is kind of um, short concept taken from the newness railroad, it's only the rails. So here they are referencing to these rails that they have already mentioned. They were pulled out of 600 meter tunnel, which had been bored through the sandstone in the Wallamy National Park and the tunnel was left to its own devices. For newness, now newness again is only one, uh, the full, one half name taken from what is newness? Newness is the railroad. So we are again referencing. For newness, that meant, now that meant is also a reference, that meant becoming home to thousands and thousands of glowworms. So here the question arises, is what meant? That is why this sentence did not came second. You could have said that for newness, we can put newness after newness, but we need the answer to that meant first. Now that meant is what, what was happening in the previous sentence, that uh, the tunnel was left to its own devices. The glowworm is a, so here we introduced the concept of thousands of glowworms and now we are saying the glowworm. The glowworm is again referencing to the sentence which explained or introduced glowworms to us. So the glowworm is a catch-all name for the uh, bioluminescent larvae of various species in this case. And then we have the explanation about where are they found and they're found in caves, the fungus larvae cling to the rocky walls of the abundant tunnel. And this is all what's happening after we find glowworms in those caves. So what we have understood from this question is always put the full names first and always pay attention to things like this, that, these, and those, because that tell you that you have to have a story first and then you can refer to that story. Okay. So this is um, the concepts in this question. Let's see what we have in the next one. And the second one. So 
So the second one says these nanostructures. So these nanostructures, your first question should be here that we have to find out where they have introduced nanostructures to us. They scatter light particles in the blue to ultraviolet color spectrum, generating a subtle effect that scientists have christened the blue halo. So one another important thing that they have marked is the blue halo. By manufacturing artificial surfaces that replicated blue halos, scientists were able to test the effect on pollinators, in this case, forging bumblebees. Now, what we have in this um, sentence is, it is possible that the sentences can be a bit technical. Don't worry, just highlight what are the elements. For example, in this one, we have blue halo, which we talked about in the previous sentence as well. We have scientists, the words that we understand easily. And then we have uh, foraging bumblebees. So typically, or I would say just taking the nouns out of the sentence. Latest research has found that several common flower species have nanoscale ridges on the surface of their petals that meddle with light when viewed from certain angles. So here we are talking about a research. And then what has the research found? We have some flower species, they have nanoscale ridges. We read about something similar to nano. So here we have these nanostructures. So this, these is referring to the nanoscale ridges on the surface of the petals, petals of the flowers that meddle with light when viewed from certain angles. They found, so the next question arises, who is they? They found, obviously, there should be some human beings because found cannot go for um, non-living things. So they found bees can see the blue halo and use it as a signal to locate flowers more efficiently. Here, the next element that we have is bees and we have blue halo. So if we make pairs, one pair we have already got, the, uh, we have nanoscale ridges and it says these nanostructures. Then we have here in this sentence, we got scientists. And in this one, we are talking about they. So this makes sense, scientists and they together. And in this one sentence, we had foraging bumblebees. And in here, we only have bees. So this is the way that you have to make pairs that which two sentences are having the same um, element that they are discussing, but out of the same uh, same element, which element is broader, which sentence is having the full forms or the proper name of the element rather than just having a referencing like bumblebees is proper element and bees is just referencing to those. So what would be the um, answer in this case? It is going to be All right. So um, the final answer after the hints, which we marked, got unmarked, which was these, and here we have scientists. Here we had bumblebees and only bees, and here we had nanoscale ridges. Right, so now looking at the final answer, what we'll have first is we'll have latest research has found that several common flower species have nanoscale ridges because this is the topic. What is the topic about? That we are talking about a research on common flower species. And then nanoscale ridges will make reference to these nanostructures. And after that, we already had a pair made that scientists will come first here and then will come they found. So it's, see, the only concept to understand that it's not important to know the meaning of the overall each and every word and the overall story because in two and a half minutes, we understand it becomes difficult. What you have to understand is by reading the complete sentences, we are trying to get as many hints as we can so that we can pair up the sentences. And similarly, moving ahead. So let's see question number three. 
this is ecological footprint accounting measures the demand on and supply of nature so we have first element ecological footprint accounting some type of accounting and ecological means related to kind of um, ecology and we have two more components one is demand and one is supply of nature so ecology is related to nature so it has both the elements demand and supply then we'll pick them up one by one saying on the demand side the ecological footprint measures the ecological assets that a given population requires to reduce the natural resources it consumes so again it's not important to understand what does the demand side means it's not important so first we see that we have both demand and supply and we have sentences in which we say on the demand side on the supply side so that should be our first sentence having both the elements then demand is written first so first it will be explained that's the writing style that we commonly follow so on the demand side this happens and then the next one is it tracks because if you see in the previous sentence we said ecological footprint measures means this is a work done by ecological footprint and the next sentence also says it tracks tracks means again doing some kind of work so here it's important to understand that what does this it stand for it is standing for ecological footprint so ecological footprint measures something it tracks this and this then once we finish the demand side we are moving on to on the supply side a city state or nation's bio capacity represents the productivity of its ecological assets and once we finish both the sides and we can say both the ecological footprint and bio capacity so bio capacity coming from this uh, fourth sentence and ecological footprint coming from the previous sentences so both of these things are expressed in global hectares globally comparable standardized hectares with world average productivity one question that can arise in your mind is how will we know that on demand and on supply side will have this sentence saying it in between so this is important whenever we have pronouns you have to fit that sentence with a sentence which has something that can be replaced with the pronoun for example if you read this sentence on the supply side a city state or nation's bio capacity represents the productivity here there is nothing that we can uh, use as it because here it says represents measures and tracks measures and tracks are more suited to say doing some work rather than just representing something so when we measure we perform when we track we perform when we represent it's not related to performing something so that is something you can apply logics with and put your answers okay um moving ahead so one important thing in the next one we look at what are the different ways that uh, they can give us examples so this fourth one says not all wildlife is created equal in our eyes so it has very broad concept saying all wildlife is not equal take the earth form now this way of writing is just like saying for example like you say not all wildlife is equal for example let's talk about earth form so take the earth form take the something means for example so that's a way of writing for example so they said all wildlife first then they are taking one example out of that which is earthworm which does not have the widespread appeal of larger more charismatic animals such as gorillas tigers or pandas and then we have worms worms is the short name for earthworm so that will come after we talk about earthworms are never going to get a strong cute response and they won't ever be the face of a conservation campaign but now but means going opposite in the previous sentence we say that worms are very small and cute but they are never the big face of conservation campaigns and then what is the opposite but what darwin rightly recognized is that worm conservation is much more important once we factor in their provision of what we call ecosystem services which are crucial to human survival now this but here is saying that 
they are not the face of conservation campaign but they are much more crucial to human survival so as i said it's not important to understand each and every word like in this big sentence what i just picked up was but their conservation is much more important something that we understand is more than enough for us to solve so the first one was based on broader concept then the example saying take the earthworm then only worms and then the opposite of what the previous sentence said represented with but so i hope it's making sense next question is all right the one with mayor this is saying education scholars generally agree that mayors can help failing districts but they are starting to utter warnings what we can understand mayors can help failing district okay mayors can help in something but they are starting to utter warnings we understand the word warnings mayors can help something in districts and it is related to education this is what we mean by getting the crux out of the sentence last summer the editors of harvard educational review warned that mayoral control can reduce parents influence on schools now in the first sentence we said warnings can be n number of warnings then we are again giving one example of warning that last summer in this the editors of harvard educational review they gave some some warning warned about something so warnings is anybody any warning this particular is one example of warning given by somebody to someone and they pointed who are they to mr bloomberg's aggressive style as an example of what not to do so who are they here and important yes very important before i forget and is very very important and means there is a story and you're continuing that story so why cannot and come after the first sentence is no story going on it's a general sentence mayors can help in something and cannot come and they pointed there's there's no work going on there's no story going on and we cannot put and they pointed but here yes a story is going on that last summer the editors of this and this they warned about mayoral control and they pointed to that's a story going on so that's why this they refers to these editors and this they does not refer to mayors because of this word and here and they pointed to mr bloomberg's aggressive style as an example of what not to do all this must be weighed up by the new york state legislature in 2009 when mayoral control is up for so all this again is referring to whatever is happening all all right so only the thing all this is more than enough for us to put this sentence at the end that it is talking about all of the things that had happened in a situation and all this must be weighed up by the new york legislature we cannot put it in between because there was a story going on about a situation and this new york state legislature is completely different from that and moreover this all this is more than enough to help us understand that it's going to come at the end once we have finished the discussion okay let's look at the next one 
The Safe New Ventures is a program that helps entrepreneurs in some of the world's most dynamic emerging economies, Brazil, China, Colombia, India, Indonesia, and Mexico. What we should mark is New Ventures. This is a definition given to us. What is New Ventures? N and we both are capital. That means it's a it's a term or it's kind of a concept or something definitely a term uh, to take as a proper noun. So it's a program. So it can be a name of a program or a type of a program. Definition that what is new ventures is given to us uh, that helps entrepreneurs in some of the world's most dynamic emerging economies. And then we have the names of economies. We have facilitated more than $203 million in investment and worked with 250 innovative businesses whose goods and services produce clear measurable environmental benefits such as this, this, and this. So what in this sentence, first one, they said that there is some kind of program. This can has to come first because it's a definition. Also, if we look at the other three sentences, one is often they also, that cannot be the first one. For example, cannot be the first one. And we have facilitated more than this man, these many dollars in um, million dollars in investment. We won't understand what kind of investment, what is the topic going on. So this will be our first sentence. Then um, why second has come at the second place is because three and four cannot be there because third one says often they also address and also is a very small but a very important word when we work on reorders. They also address means there should be something done first and then also means the secondary thing also done. And the last one says, for example. So once, for example, is when we'll talk about something, only then we'll give the example of something. So this says they have give, done investment of these many dollars. They have worked with 250 innovative businesses whose goods and services they, so we are talking about businesses, we are talking about goods and services, and we are talking about environmental benefits. These are all the things that we do. And they also address challenges experienced by the world's poor. So only because of the word also, you can put it at number three, that they done or we do this or they the companies do this and they also do this. Uh, challenges experienced by the world's poor. And then, for example, one of the companies we work with in China called EcoStar refurbishes copy machines from the US and resells or leases them for 20% less than a branded photocopier. So example will come at the end. First, we'll complete what are both the things they do. Because of this word, they also address. We cannot put the example in between. First, we'll do like, for example, an organization's duty is this. This is also their duty. And then we start giving examples about what they do. And um, because in these two sentences, we were talking about businesses and goods and services in general. And after that, also address means those things, those companies or this new venture program, they help entrepreneurs. They also address the challenges. And this was one example, like one about one of the business or one of the companies that they work with, right? So in this, what we learn is definitions come at the first place also plays a very important role when you are putting the order and then comes the example. Okay, moving on to number seven. Benefits of language, number eight, sorry. Over the years, many human endeavors have had the benefit of language. The first sentence, because it's a general sentence, not talking about any particular year, not talking about any one benefit of language, just generally saying that over the years, we have had many benefits of language. Now, in particular is an important start. In particular is used when you are taking one uh, area out of a broad concept. For example, here we said language. And in particular, now we have taken written language because language can be oral also. But here they say in particular, out of all the forms of language, what we are going to talk about is written language, taking one idea out of a broader concept. 
in particular a written language can convey a lot of information about past events places people and things but is again a very important word so but means we will make some kind of contrast we'll give some kind of um, opposite information so in the previous sentence we say written language can convey a lot of information about some things but it is difficult to describe music in words so opposite is we can give lot of information about these things but we cannot give information about music so that is the use of but here it is difficult to describe music in words and even more difficult to specify a tune it was a development of a standard musical notation in the 11th century that allowed music to be documented in a physical form so uh, i hope this is clear with but because it's going to it's it was making a contrast with conveying information and not conveying information next we have two things 11th century and now so whenever we use now 95% of the times we talk about a um, past time period and then we talk about what is the present situation after that which is the same case here that we said that in 11th century some development happened that allowed music to be documented in physical form and now what is the status now music could be communicated efficiently and succeeding generations would know something about the music of the ancestors so mostly now comes uh, with uh, with respect to a past time period written first and then you give the present situation all right and let's move ahead okay so number 9 the expanding influence of copernicanism through the 17th century transformed not only the natural philosophic learnings of astronomers but also the store of conceptual material accessible to writers of fiction what is important we are talking about this then we have a time period and then we have two things not only this of astronomers but also some kind of material for fiction so these are the elements that we should mark so that we can find sentences related to any of this one element the next sentence is during this period now whenever we have a reference to a time period like this period so what is it related to is this 17th century during this period of scientific revolution a new literary genre arose namely that of the scientific cosmic voyage two sentences connected not on any difficult word or element just based on 17th century and this period was important looking at the next pair scientists and writers alike constructed fantastical tales in which fictional characters journey to the moon sun and planets in so doing they discover so what is important is here they have done something they have constructed some kind of tales who are they scientists and writers in so doing means the work which means in the construction of the tales they means scientists and writers they discovered that these once remote worlds are themselves earth like in character these worlds who what are these worlds maybe uh, fictional characters or moon sun and planets they are themselves earth like in character descriptions of these planetary bodies again planetary bodies would definitely be moon sun and planets so again what is important is these is important they is important in so doing is important this period is important not this copernicanism whatever it is conceptual material natural philosophy astronomy these are not important and this is what you need to take care of okay let's look at number 10 so this is the destruction of the forests the earth is losing its forest a simple sentence presently trees cover about 30% of the earth's surface but they are being destroyed at an alarming rate especially in the tropics earth 
losing forests and we have one um, numerical figure 30 percent of the earth's surface uh, is covered by trees but they are uh, being destroyed at an alarming rate so a general sentence uh, putting forward the problem that we are facing timber harvesting is a major reason for the destruction of forests so now, once we present that this is the problem, then we start giving the reasons of those problems of that problem. Timber harvesting is given as one reason for the destruction of forests. See, saying timber harvesting is a reason for destruction of forests and saying earth is losing its forests, definitely this sentence is much, much broader because it's talking about the whole planet rather than just saying that timber harvesting is a reason for destruction of forest. So obviously the planet as a whole comes first and then comes one narrow reason for any uh, destruction happening. The timbers are used. So once we give the term timber harvesting is the reason, then we are explaining that why are we saying that timber harvesting is a reason because timbers are used for building houses, making furniture, providing pulp for paper products such as newspapers and magazines. So this is a kind of relationship that you have to understand that this is a sentence. The next sentence is saying why it happened. The next sentence is saying when it happened. So if you're able to um, make those rela relationships, you can make your pairs easily. So this was timber harvesting is a reason. Why do we say this? Then we give explanation. Like uh, we say that every next sentence gives more specification, becomes more narrower than the previous one. Then they say at least 40 hectares of rainforest are being felled every minute, mostly in order to extract the valuable timber. Now, how do we know this comes after because of this valuable timber will be one part of the timbers. The timber will be broader than saying valuable timber that will be very narrow because timber will include valuable and invaluable both of them so the broader one would be the timber once we finish timber timber thing then the next one is another way that man is destroying the world's forests by burning them down in amazon for example rainforests are being burned down at a rate of 20 hectares a minute so that is easy to say another way because we have talked about one concept of timber and now we're moving on to another one. So again, what was important was put the broadest one first. Try to make some relationships when the sentences are talking about the same basis. For example, timber, then which one comes first, which can be the reason for it. And then obviously, again, which uh, word is broader than its specification. Timber is broader than valuable timber. Okay. Moving ahead. There was something to correct in this one. We'll cover it at the end. Twelfth one, sherbet powder. So this one says, a reaction that needs some type of energy to make it go is said to be endothermic. So what we have is a definition. What is an endothermic reaction? It is this that needs energy to make it go, it takes in energy. So definition comes first. For example, so definitely cannot be the first one because example needs explanation. So they say, for example, the sherbet you use for the chapter problem on page 25 is a mixture of baking soda and citric acid. How do we know this comes here is when it is mixed with water in your mouth. So when it is mixed means we have to find out what is mixed and what is mixed is the sherbet is a mixture of baking soda and citric acid. And when we put it in our mouth, it uh, mixed with water in your mouth an endothermic reaction occurs, taking heat energy from your mouth and making it feel cooler. So this it makes a difference that we first have to talk about what is going in the mouth and only then we'll say when it goes to the mouth. Another example of an endothermic reaction. So another example is enough hint to say that first one example will come and then next example will come. 
is seen when with the cold packs used by athletes to treat injuries these packs usually consist of a plastic bag containing ammonium nitrate dissolved in water so here we have uh, packs used by athletes to treat injuries and then we this process is endothermic taking heat energy from the surroundings and cooling the injured part of your body so this is again talking about injuries so which which is an introductory sentence is another example is this 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 and then we continue explaining that with reference to injured part of your body so one what we learned in this is definition comes first if two examples are given another example will come second for example comes first and then you just have to link sentences which one is related to injury and which one is related to consuming something in the mouth should be termed as an easy one okay all right scientific dishonesties i think we should be wary of the reporting of science it is often over dramatized in order to secure an audience but not of science itself so what we should mark is we are talking about reporting of science if we leave the comma comma part sorry hyphen hyphen part this says we should be wary of reporting of science but not of science itself so they are saying reporting of science wary of or means we should be kind of cautious of very basic meaning can be we should remain cautious of the reporting of science and then in the hyphen they said it is often over dramatized in order to secure an audience so they say the reporting is over dramatized of course there are rare extremely scientific dishonesties which will be seized upon by the news organizations a difficult uh, topic not kind of an easy story so we should only go with hints here we said reporting of science and here we say dishonesties so when we report let's say we are reporting something scientific it can be honest it can be dishonest so again the broader thing will be reporting of science and out of that one branch can be dishonest things that like untrue things that we are talking about by the news organizations obviously and then we say the role of science in modern society remains valuable now here this sentence comes here because of the example being given mobile phones can cause incidents if drivers insist on talking on the phone instead of looking at roads but no one would argue that mobile phones cannot help to make a phone call when we are in a crisis so this is an example given of mobile phones positive and negative and before giving the example what is the purpose of giving the example always comes before the example why have we given the example of mobile phone is to tell that in modern society science is the role of science is very very valuable and then for science the example of science is mobile phones and the role is being explained by giving the examples that it has a valuable role what is a valuable role that when we are in crisis a uh, mobile phone can help us to make call and call somebody for help so this would be the logic first and second reporting of science is broader than giving honest or dishonest reporting and then um talking about role of science why is it valuable then we are given the reasons and uh, obviously the example starts with this sentence number 4 so it comes first and it continues with but so the but one comes later on got it Okay. number 14 with the arctic the fastest warming region on the planet climate change is already altering key components of the arctic environment the first sentence because of the way it is framed uh, one of the features of finding the first independent sentence is that it should be a kind of introductory sentence it should not just give explanation it should introduce the topic now here 
with the arctic what is arctic this is a kind of introduction arctic is the fastest warming region on the planet so it kind of kind of introduces the topic to us before talking about what is happening in the arctic climate change is already altering key components of the arctic environment what the elements that we have let's only mark the elements we are talking about arctic we are talking about climate change we are talking about altering key components of the arctic environment so key components are being changed because of climate change obviously some of the clearest signs of change now change only change um like we, like they have said some of the clearest signs means what are the examples of the change that they talked about in the previous sentence that the key components in the arctic environment are being altered and i hope altered makes sense altered means like are being changed and then they're giving examples that what is happening thinning and retreat of the icy migration of species into the arctic that normally live at lower altitude so these are the things which are happening there which are being changed for so examples so we said that there are changing things in arctic environment then we gave examples of what is changing then we say the response of the arctic to climate change these are happening what will be the response answer of the arctic to these changes the answer of the response of the arctic to climate change will have an unprecedented impact on how the arctic ecosystem operates this is likely to affect the uk's climate and economy and with anticipated impacts on industries like tourism and fisheries now the first three sentences we could understand what's happening what's coming back because of that thing the last one this is likely will come at the end reason because the the topic that it is talking about is not very directly related to the story which was going on in the previous three sentences so the first we said climate change is making changes these are the examples of changes in response to these changes this will happen and then going on to uk's climate and economy and saying that it will have impact on tourism and fisheries it's very very narrow than discussing climate change as a whole so in the previous three sentences we were talking about the overall impact of climate change in arctic environment whereas the last one it's a very small topic saying that in uk's climate and industries like tourism and fishery this is going to make an impact so because it is the narrowest sentence it comes at the end this is about 14th okay number 15th so 15 says earth is a target in a cosmic shooting gallery subject to random violent events that were unsuspected a few decades ago what are the elements we have earth we have some events and we have a time period a few decades ago then we say in 1991 the united states congress asked nasa to investigate the hazard posed today by large impacts on earth the group conducting the study the group which group the study which study so that is why this sentence in 1991 comes first because it is answering the group and the study the group is the group of nasa Uh, which was asked to investigate something the study is what was what were they investigating this they conducting the study concluded so obviously first something will start the investigation only then the conclusion will come they concluded from a detailed analysis that impacts on meteorites can indeed be hazardous although there is always some risk that a large impact could occur careful study shows that this risk is quite small so the first one was a general sentence talking about violent events they can be any event then they picked up one event gave an example 1991 us congress asked nasa to investigate and that particular group concluded something 
the fourth one is again a general sentence but it cannot come first because although there is always some risk that a larger in large impact so what impact are we talking about careful study shows the risk is small so which risk are we talking about so this has to come at the end because the large impact is impact from meteorites and that's why we have to first tell a story and then we'll conclude that the impact of meteorites can be there but it's very small risk about them that is why it's coming at the end because putting it first cannot answer that what impact and what risk are we covering in this sentence so this is 15th In number 16 says Copernicus probably hit upon his main idea sometime between 1508 and 1514 for years. However, he delayed publication of his controversial work, which contract contradicted all the authorities of the time. We have the name of a person. We have time periods. We have publication of some work, maybe some writing because it's writing that gets published which contradicted all of, so uh, which contradicted is about his work what did he write so here ha we have the historic book now saying the historic book and saying publication of work which is more broader obviously publication of work is broader than just having one book because publication can be of uh, magazines articles and a lot of things get published, novels get published. So how do we know that it was a book or not? So this is the first sentence. It uh, Otherwise, also, it's having the general idea rather than talking about one book. But still, just to give you a hint, publication of work will be more broader than talking about one particular book. The historic book that contains the final version of his theory, the revolution or this that means six books concerning the revolutions of the heavenly orbs did not appear in print until uh, 1543, the year of his death. So we are saying this book, which was about so and so topic, did not appear in print until 1453, the year of that person's death. According to legend, Copernicus received a copy as he was dying on May 24, 1543. So again, just saying 1543 will be broader than giving a particular day in that year, which is May 24, 1543. This was just said the year of his death. And here they have uh, more narrowed it down, saying that he received a copy as he was dying on this particular day. So saying talking about year and talking about day definitely makes day more narrower than year. Then they said the book opened the way to a truly scientific approach to astronomy. It had a profound influence on later thinkers about so and so. So this sentence is only and only talking about what was a book about. The book had a scientific approach about astronomy and talked about scientific revolution. It is not related to the person which was there in the previous three sentences, which was having a story that this person delayed the publication and this book until 1543, which was a year of the death. On the day of the death, he received the book and then only about book, what was contained in the book, what was published in the book, the topics. So it is the narrowest again. So this is about 16. 17th is the one we've already covered before. It's a repetition. Okay. 18th, gender inequalities. This says most European countries are concerned about gender inequalities in education. So we have, however, on the one hand, on the other hand, cannot be the first sentences. So the first sentence is a general sentence that we are talking about. European countries and the topic is gender inequalities in the education sector. On the one hand, on the other hand, cannot come unless and until we introduce that what are these two things. 
So that's why the second sentence which says, however, the comprehensiveness of legislative and policy frameworks differ widely. Uh, what is important here is not understanding what is comprehensiveness of legislative and policy frameworks. No, what is important is differs widely. Something differs widely. And what are the differences? On one hand, they differ on this. On the other hand, they do this and this. You don't even need to read what they're doing because if you know that what are the things that are being talked about, you can put them together because there's no other sentence given. So first is gen gender inequalities in education. Then what is one hand and other hand? These are two differences given for something about comprehensive legislative and policy. On one hand, they have this difference. On the other hand, they have this difference. These kind of questions are time-saving questions where you should not be bothered about reading them in detail unless and until you have some general sentences, like one more sentence given which can explain um, third one further or which can explain fourth one further, then there will be a need to read them more properly. Okay, number 19 says, Anne's prediction, it's often said that ants can predict impending rain and respond by changing their behavior. A general sentence, which generally say that normally people, or normally it is said like this. And what is said, we have ants and we uh, understand they can predict rain and respond by changing their behavior and they sort of change their behavior. Now, changing their behavior is explained in the next sentence for their explanation. What do they do? Well, what do we mean by when we say they change their behavior? What do they do? If you see ants building their mounds higher or building them from different materials, this might signal the coming of rain. So it's a further explanation of the behavior. What do they do? But means again we will make a contrast so they do this and this but is there any scientific evidence to support this piece of folk wisdom folk wisdom is like what people generally believe or say so is there any evidence to support this piece means folk wisdom means what people say and that is why it comes here after we say people say this the answer is no. So obviously the answer comes after the question mark. The answer is no. And we don't really bother what is the explanation given because we are there to make the pairs only. So the question and the answer to that question. The concept of question mark is also very important. One thing that you can generally keep in your mind um, for question marks is that if the answer to question mark is given, only then it comes anywhere at one, two, three, four places. If the answer to the question is not given, your question mark comes at the end. It should be your last sentence. So this is something that you can keep in mind when if you get a question mark sentence in the exam. And let's move ahead to number 20th. In order to establish whether diversity matters in the sea as well as on land, 11 marine biologists along with three economists have joined forces. Elements. So we're talking about diversity, sea, land. We have 11 marine biologists. We have three economists. These are the important things. They have spent, so they means these people, they have spent past three years crunching all the numbers they could lay on their hands on. So they means these people, that is why the sentence comes after. In this sentence, the element was time period, three years, crunching all the numbers, so we're talking about some numbers. These ranged from the current UN Food and uh, Agriculture Organization's database to information hundreds of years old, gleaned from kitchen records and archaeology. So what are these numbers is explained here. These numbers range, these means the numbers, range from this organization's database to the information hundreds of years old from records and archaeology. 
the results of this comprehensive analysis and the result will come after we have explained whatever information we had about the research or the study so this is simple about they means the people numbers and then we gave what numbers you're talking about one database we are talking about some information which was hundreds of years old and then the results of whatever they did all right all right zooming so the next one 21 many young children are inexperienced in dealing with emotional upheaval elements children the inexperienced dealing with emotions whatever emotional upheaval means emotions as a result they lack the coping strategies that many adults have now uh, the doubt can be how can as a result we know that as a result will come too early the reason is they here say they lack the coping strategies then they say in particular they lack verbal skills now when they say lack the coping strategies it's a very very broad term coping strategies can be thousands of strategies so once we say they lack coping strategies and then we give one example of what exactly or what in particular do they lack. And this tells us that this as a result has to come first because it's a broader sentence. And then we have a specification taking out of that sentence. So they lack coping strategies, which can be many strategies. And then we say in particular out of those all strategies, what we want to say is they lack verbal skills to express their emotions and to effectively communicate their need for emotional support. The elements in this sentence, they lack verbal skills. They don't have verbal skills. Verbal is to speak, to communicate, to express their emotions. So we understand what they're saying and effectively communicate their need for. So they are unable to communicate that they need help. They are unable to express how they're feeling their emotions, good, bad, happy, sad, whatever. The frustration of not being able to effectively communicate may manifest itself in alternative behaviors. So once we say that, so this, this would be the pair is this, many strategies and then what in particular they lack. Then we finish that they are unable to communicate for emotional help. And then we say they get frustrated because they are unable to effectively communicate, which is again linked with the same topic going on, which was going on the previous sentence, that they cannot communicate and then they get frustrated about it. Strategies that children may employ at this age are commonly referred to as defense mechanism. And now we are trying to give solutions to the problems which were talked about in the previous sentences. And that is why this comes at the end, because this is not the topic which was going on. The topic going on was the problems. And this sentence has a kind of a solution that when they have all these kind of problems, what they do the strategies that they employ are known as defense mechanism. So they do this when they are in this kind of situation. So this is one, one important thing that can um, help you when you solve your orders is what is the overall concept of the sentence? Like, is it a problem? Is it a solution? Is it a um, reason? Or is it a result? So it's overall understanding of the sentence can help us to place it in the correct order. So um, one more thing. Sometimes, yes, uh, we generally look at, you know, as a result and we automatically we tell ourselves it has to come at the end. Don't be so rigid in your approaches. Uh, I understand that we have this um, pressure of time on us, but still. It being you we have to be a bit flexible we have to be a bit um experimental at times or i or i should just say that don't be too rigid on yourself give yourself a chance that for example just like saying it will come at the end you can just tell yourself it may come at the end that will make all the difference and you will explore more options when you are putting the answer next one twenty two 
native plants and animals. So this one is Australia's native plants and animals adapted to life on an isolated continent over millions of years. So what we have is you're talking about Australia's plants and animals and we have millions of years. Since European settlement, they have, who are they? They have had to compete with a range of introduced animals for habitat, food, and shelter. Some have also had to face predators. So only important was they had to compete. Compete is like they have to fight for their survival. They also had to face predators and predators is common, commonly understood. So two things are connected because of also, as I said earlier, also is a small but a very important word. So this can help you to make the pair. These new pressures have pressures. Uh, these new pressures will come at the end because the previous, both the sentences had the same law, same concept. This is a problem. This is also a problem. So you should not put anything in between like giving a solution or giving a saying, firstly said, this is a problem and these problems. When you have one more sentence talking about problems, you should first finish both of them. One is this problem, second is this problem. And then you change the topic to these problems have also caused a major impact on the country's soil and waterways and on its native plants and animals. So these new pressures would be to both of them, both of the problems in two and three. And who will be they? They will be the plants and animals. So we had the nouns given in the first one. Right, an easy one. Now we have to uh, check this 23rd one as well. So it will, will be covered at the end. 24th is, according to experts, feeding birds is probably the most common way in which people interact with wild animals today. More than 50 million Americans engage in the practice, collectively undertaking an unwitting experiment on a vast scale. So what is the topic? Feeding birds is a way to interact with wild animals. One we have is a time period, more than 50 million, oh, sorry, numerical figure 50 million americans they do this is what we are doing good or bad for birds so before this we have to say that what is being done when we say is it good or bad for birds so what is good or bad so it is feeding birds that's why this comes first because this introduces us to the topic and then we ask Feeding birds is being done by people and 50 million Americans do this, but is it good or bad? Question mark comes here. That means there is something related to the question. And that is given the very next sentence when they say recently researchers at this or ornithology sought to answer this question. That is why the question comes and here comes this question. Analyzing nearly three decades worth of data from a winter long survey called Project Feeder Watch. So question mark and this question and then we are talking about. They were analyzing nearly three decades of data. Uh, for, uh, for answering this question. And then once we study, once we analyze something and what comes is results, preliminary results. So after analyzation, the results suggest that species visiting our feeders the most are faring exceptionally well in an age when one third of the continent's birds need urgent conservation. Whatever be the results, you just focus on results, first analysis and then results of the analysis. Still, what are the consequences of skewing the odds in favor of the small subset of species inclined to eat at feeders? What about when the bird we are aiding is invasive like our house finch? So these questions come at the end because we don't have any answer to these questions. And as I said before, the question marks come at the end when there are no references given about what is the answer, no information given about what is the answer. So always put them at the end. So this, these are the 
22 questions that we have covered. We'll continue in the second part of the video. Till then, I really, really hope, we really hope that this would be helpful to you. Um, again, concentrate more on, on the small things that have been highlighted that this always goes like this. And this is a concept. This is a hint. If you keep all those things in your mind, definitely one of them will be applied in your exam as well. Stay tuned.